Hello, I'm Trevor Lewis from the Voyager Middle School STEAM Lab. In this video, what I'm going to talk about is how to use Google Jamboard to write right on the top of uh, an image. And I'm going to show you how to do that in a way that you can make a copy of that for each student to write on top of and turn in as an assignment by using Google Assignments in Schoology. So let's get started. So the first thing you need to do is get into Jamboard. I've got my Schoology sandbox open here, but I'm going to open a new tab and I'm going to go to google.com. Um, you might have been able to get it from the Start tab, but I like to have the full waffle available to me. So I'm going to click on this up here. And a lot of people think that this is it, but there's a scroll bar here. And you can scroll, 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 scroll to get to Jamboard. Jamboard is a very simple whiteboard um, app, but it is nice because it integrates so well with Google. So I'm going to push the plus button to get a new jam going. So a lot of people will invite a lot of students. You can share this and you can... Um, have a bunch of students on here and be using the very basic tools that are here but what I'm going to do instead um, let's see let's call this math worksheet what I'm going to do instead is I'm going to get a worksheet on here and then I'm going to make a copy of that for each of my students and then each of my students can use Jamboard to write right on top of it okay so let me go grab a worksheet real quick so I'm back here's a worksheet I had kicking around um, so this worksheet is nice because it's horizontal and a lot of our screens are horizontal too. So if you don't have a horizontal worksheet, you might have to think a little harder about how you're going to lay it out on the Jamboard, um, whether you're going to shrink it down real small or cut it into two pieces or just use the top half or the bottom half. Um, I'm going to zoom out just a little bit here. Um, let's back out here a little bit so I can see a little bit more of it at once. Um, and I have my picture on here, of course, but uh, let's move my picture up here. So now what I can do is to get this into the Jamboard, I like to use the Snip and Sketch tool. I like it so much that I have it pinned to my start board. Um, or start, um, I'm sorry. I like it so much I have it pinned to the task bar right here, but you can always search for it here or, ha or have it in your start menu. And when I press that, I'm just going to press New Snip, and then I can just drag around the part that I want it automatically takes a copy of this. As soon as I do that, I can annotate it a little bit too. But let's go back to the Jamboard now. So now that I'm back in the Jamboard, all I have to do to get the image in here is just do Control V on the keyboard and just do a paste. And you can see it comes in, it might come in small. If I grab up here, I can rotate, but I can grab it and move it. And I can grab by a corner and it will scale automatically with the right size. And get it just the way I want it okay get it th that way because it's a Google online document it will save automatically I could have multiple pages if I wanted to but I'm just gonna stick with this one page so my continents worksheet is ready to go so now I'm gonna go to the sandbox and I this is the trick okay to make a copy in Schoology of this for every one of my students I can't use Google Drive assignments I have to use this other type this Google assignment so I found that green line and I clicked it and I'm going to add a Google assignment right there. And when you get into there, it seems to want to always have me confirm that that's me, that that's the right Google account. Then it opens up this new Google assignments thing. Set your point value. You set a due date. You're going to give it a title. And then you might want to, in your instructions, explain what it's going to look like on the student end. They About where to click, how to um, when they when they click on it, they're going to click attach and submit, and then they're going to click submit. So you can type all that out in your instructions, but then you have to attach the file here. And when you attach the file here, it's going to open up your Google Drive. There's my recent work right there, and you can see it's by default, it's each student will get a copy. That's just how it works in Google Assignments. So that'll make a copy for each one of my students, and I can hit create. And if you haven't played around with Google Assignments very much, it's a lot like having a Google Google Classroom assignment that's inside your Schoology Classroom. So when you click on it to grade it, it'll actually open in in um, something that looks like the same grading area that we had back when we were using Google Classroom. Um, so I won't see these until my students start submitting them. Okay, I can look at the original file, but then my student submissions will be here, and I'll be able to grade them.